what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology and so many of you have been requesting me for speaking on this topic so finally how to overcome bad habits my god so many people telling me that i have this bad habit i have that bad habit so there you go how to overcome bad habits but this video is not on the steps that you take to overcome the bad habits i will make that later but before that i want to make a video so that you can visualize what happens when you are gaining victory over a bad habit all right so that is why this video is named as four stages in overcoming any bad habit all right so if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it somewhere here there and if you want a consultation then please 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 approach me through my website the link which is there below and if you like this video then click the thumbs up and if you want me to make any other video then let me know in the comments okay and many of you have said to me to make videos regarding law of attraction and some other topics like second marriage third marriage that's there on the hit list it's coming okay and yes before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you overcome your bad habits and he will also help you to see the stages that you will encounter while you are trying to overcome any bad habit all right so basically what is a habit you break the word h a b i t then what happens you remove the h then what remains a bit then you remove the a then what remains bit then you remove b then what remains it so it still remains that is the definition of habit that how much ever you try to give it up it doesn't go a habit also has another definition habit is an experience of pleasure in the past should i repeat habit is an experience of pleasure in the past that is what is an habit because we got some superficial so called external mundane gross pleasure because of that we are going on indulging it again and again and again and again yes and that is causing havoc in our lives that's causing destruction in our lives yes so therefore habits are like the cozy bed where we feel like going and entering taking shelter always yes habit is something where we take shelter yes suppose there's a hot sunny day in a desert sahara desert then what do you do you go and find a oasis and you go and drink water there so similarly habits are like that bad habits the moment you are depressed down or angry frustrated then you go and indulge in that either it can be smoking drinking watching pornography or anything else like this or even hogging recklessly on food or sweets desserts chocolates coffee yes these are all intoxicants so we all know what habits are right so we i i don't have to give much description on it but let us see what happens when we try to overcome a bad habit so the first stage is it is known as unconscious incompetence what does this mean this means that when you are trying to overcome a bad habit you are unconsciously incompetent means you are failing in that unconsciously yes for example suppose i am trying uh, i am smoking 10 packs every day suppose i don't know much <laughs> but suppose then what happens today i decide okay today is this day revati nakshatra is running so maybe from today i will try to reduce my smoking yes that is our resolution that is our determination that is our wish that's our goal that's our aim our objective ultimately but that's not happening now so what we do we try to control it but the level of degradation that we are in regard in regards to that bad habit is so high that we unconsciously smoke 
and we don't realize that oh my god i just smoked a cigarette again <laughs> that is unconscious incompetence but the moment you uh, smoke it you realize oh i failed <laughs> but that's okay that's the first step the first step is to realize that you are failing the first step is to realize that you are not able to uh, give up this bad habit you are not able to fight that's the first step of the fight if you think that you can fight it and you have conquered it when you have actually not well then you are not even in the game you are out already so the first step is to acknowledge the helplessness that we are in all right which means we are unconsciously failing in that that means we are not conscious okay one more cigarette and suddenly you realize oh my god then what happens then when you try to overcome it then you go to the next stage and in the next stage what happens conscious incompetence which means you realize that oh i am conscious that i should not smoke but it's incompetence still you indulge in it which means now in the second stage when you are about to smoke you get a jerk oh should i smoke should i not should i should i not should i should i not that is called conscious incompetence but it is still incompetence you have not gained victory over it but the difference between the first and the second is in the first case you don't realize only that you are doing but in the second case before you do you realize oh my god i'm about to do this should i do this or should i not do this yes but still you do it because it is conscious incompetence incompetence means our inability to do something yes that is what is incompetence then what happens then we are going high 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 not in the habit in our efforts to controlling that habit and then we reach the third stage what's the third stage third stage is known as conscious competence should i repeat conscious competence now what happens in the third stage is we want to indulge in that activity again but we are conscious and then we are consciously competent so now we do not indulge in it but we are very conscious we are very careful oh my god i should not do this and you don't do also but that fear is lurking in your heart so you are conscious oh i should not stay with the person who is smoking i should avoid going to those areas where i used to smoke avoid all kinds of triggers but we are having that fear inside oh what if i go there and this happens what if that friend who said oh just smoke only once it doesn't matter actually it's a bakwas is this nonsense actually it doesn't happen you don't get addicted you see some people get addicted we are exceptions right <laughs> as they say in hindi na hamare sath nahi hoga <laughs> it will not happen with us right it will happen with everybody else but there's only one exception who is that myself yes and then what happens <laughs> no comments all right so in the third stage you are consciously competent enough to fight the disease but still you are conscious so the moment you see a trigger you are alert oh this is like this siren which is ringing pa 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 so all the radars are up and then you realize yes 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 this is the point where the trigger comes from this is the place this is the person who triggers me to do this so what should i do avoid the company of the person or avoid going to those places which remind me yes and when we consciously try to overcome that habit and in the third stage we have already overcome it then when we do that for a long time we reach this stage of 
which is the last stage it is known as unconscious competence which means that we are unconscious that we have gained victory over this habit which simply means even if you go and you see a person is smoking it doesn't affect you now that fear is not there in you oh my god this person is smoking what if i go and uh, sit near him i'll also start smoking you're least concerned you're least bothered you're least interested even if 10 people are smoking around you it doesn't affect you so this is like the first stage only thing is it's directly the opposite the first stage was you are unconsciously incompetent means without knowing anything you'll just take up the cigarette and you'll smoke yes unconsciously and then suddenly you realize my god what did i just do and then the second stage is conscious incompetence where you are conscious that i should not do this but still you will end up doing it all right and then the third stage is conscious competence where you are conscious that i should not do this and then you gain victory all right but still you are very conscious oh my god this is happening that is happening what if i fall down again that fear is there and the last stage is unconscious competence which is farak nahi padta it doesn't affect me anymore even if somebody is uh, smoking a cigarette in front of me i don't feel like doing it or that thought of cigarette is not at all there in my head it's completely vanished that's what is known as unconscious competence all right so we have to come to this level gradually this will take time and i will be making more videos on how to overcome our bad habits okay but before that i wanted to give a vision a blueprint so that you can visualize yourself regarding every bad habit that you have it can be anything sleeping too much also or eating too much also or talking too much unnecessarily that is also a bad habit all right so there you go this is a new playlist overcoming bad habits four stages and we will discuss using spirituality how we can overcome the bad habits which we have all right that is it from my side if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then subscribe to it somewhere here there and if you want a consultation then approach me through the website link which is there and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you like this so much then please share it with others and if you want me to make any other video then please let me know there you go four stages in overcoming our bad habits okay until next time with another video bye bye see you